Hello, everyone. My name is Ken Chenjiang. Today, I'm going to introduce network aware battle stacking of electric vehicles in transactive energy system. In recent years, due to the reduced cost of renewable energy system and the advancement of battery technology, electric vehicles EV has become more popular worldwide. The high uptake of EVs poses challenges to the network but also brings opportunities. Recent studies suggested the optimal scheduling of EV charging and discharging to interact with smart homes, the local energy market, and the grid to maximize the value of EVs. However, the value of V2G and energy trading among EVs can be restricted by local network constraints, and the results are not convincing if such constraints are not considered. Therefore, we are motivated to develop a value stacking optimization problem to maximize the value of EVs while maintaining the local grid voltage with, with limits. In the system model, we consider a system with multiple prosumers having EVs in smart homes connected through a local grid. The figure on the top illustrates a one-line network where each node has only one parent node and connects one prosumer. In the prosumer model, we suppose each prosumer on EV and each smart home consists of solar power generator, inflexible load, and a smart meter. For the proposed value stacking model, we consider prosumer up to optimize their EV discharging to leverage the multiple value strings, including V2Home, V2G, and energy trading in the local market. For the power network model, we consider a linearized distribution network model, which has been widely used to implement constraints for voltage. The value stacking optimization problem is a mixed integer quadratic programming problem. The objective is to minimize the total cost and we use the branch and bound algorithm to solve it. The simulation horizon is one week. We use real market data in National Energy Market Australia and evaluate time of use TOU and two-part tariff TPT pricing separately as the life figure shows for the TOU pricing, value stacking achieves a cost reduction of 34.1% while V2G creates the lowest cost reduction of 9.3%. For TPT, value stacking achieves a lower cost reduction of 25% than that in a TOU case. As the right figure shows, in National Energy Market Australia, the contribution of V2Home is much higher than those of V2G and energy trading, reaching up to 23.7%. V2G contributes much less than V2Home in both National Energy Market Australia and ISO New England. In New York ISO, energy trading is the most contributed value stream with a marginal contribution of 32.44% which benefits consumers more in New York. That's all my presentation. Thanks.